The internet has a long and storied tradition of independent flash animation. Just these amazing feats of creativity achieved by really gifted artists putting themselves out there, really experimenting, expressing themselves in novel ways. There was uh, Salad Fingers, there was Arfin House, there was uh, the Chip Chipperson Show. <laughs> in fact, let, let's go watch the Chip Chipperson Show. It should be really good. It had a budget of $61,000 raised on Indiegogo. It was written by comedian and New York Times bestselling author Jim Norton. It was made in 2016, so uh, there's a lot more kind of tradition and history behind it. So it was probably very refined and very well done. All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, that's, that's weird. It says media is unavailable. Let's look around. Jim Norton presents the life and times of the unfunniest man on the planet, the Chip Chipperson Show. This is actually true, except the unfunniest man on the planet in this situation, it's not Chip, it's Jim and his dog shit writing. Let's see the about section. For years I've been doing revolting characters on the radio. People have asked me so many times to animate them and it's something I've always wanted to do. I am finally here instead of pitching to networks and trying to explain the appeal of these characters, which I don't even understand because they're so unappealing. I figured I'd try to get funding so I can do the animations exactly as I want to do them, with no interference. Explaining why these characters are entertaining would be impossible. Well, that's... you sure said a mouthful there, Jim. If something's impossible, there's usually a good reason for that. Consider for a second that the reason you can't explain why they're entertaining is because they probably aren't that entertaining. This campaign is to fund five more episodes of the Chip Chipperson show like what you just watched. They include all these jerks and some other people, maybe even you. Well, the video doesn't work, but there are some character descriptions down here. Let's see what we've got. We've got all the usual suspects from the Jim Norton Extended Universe. You got your Chip, you got your Uncle Paul, you got Edgar, you got Jenny Carm. Wait, who the fuck is Jenny Carm? Could it be uh, Jim's ex-girlfriend, Jennifer Carmody? The one who tried to peg him in the ass with a strap-on, but he, he couldn't take it because it hurt too much? Maybe there's some insight about this on her site. Let's go, let's go look at that. There we go. Jennifer is a primary cast member on the Jim Norton-produced animated series, The Chip Chipperson Show. She voiced the character Jenny Carm, the sharp girlfriend of the main character, Chip. Jim, uh, Jennifer contributed not only to the voice of Jenny Carm, but also had a hand in much of the show's writing and concepts. Well, that's perfectly normal. Writing your real-life ex-girlfriend into your fiction show and then letting her write and produce it? This sounds perfectly professional and lends itself to a non-self-indulgent creative process. But enough of that. I, I still want to find this goddamn cartoon. Oh good, here's a Reddit post about it. Comedian Jim Norton ceased to communicate with backers after raising $61,389 for his cartoon project. As you can see, the last update is five months ago. Right after he raised the money, he stopped any updates on Indiegogo website sorry, the Indiegogo website, physical or digital perks have not been delivered. Any mention of the project on Jim's Facebook, Twitter, social media will result in an instant ban or block. Here is one example of him replying to a backer with passive aggressiveness without giving any concrete information while his fans attack, insult, bully the backer. When confronted by a caller on his radio show, he slipped up and said he will be stuck with 41000 after he delivers all his perks. It's also worth noting that Jim Norton has openly discussed on the radio that he has money problems after remodeling his apartment in the last few months. Listeners of the Opie radio show on XM Radio can confirm this. That's right. He was blocking people who asked about the perks. The people who gave him money are being blocked and bullied for asking where their money went. You want to know about your contribution to my Indiegogo? You can Indiegogo fuck yourself. Maybe Jim could defend himself? Let, 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 maybe. Let's see what he had to say on uh, Facebook. For anyone wondering about the Chip Chipperson animation, the shirts, bumper stickers, and posters are in the process of being made. 
every perk will be delivered. I'm fine with people disliking the animation, but to think I would steal from fans is simply ludicrous. The projected cost of the perks, depending on postage, will be around $13,000. I've explained the delay with the perks on air, and I'm simply too lazy to write them out. I have about five other scripts that were already written that I could have animated immediately, but I chose to really hear the criticism instead of ignoring it. Meaning I didn't want to plow ahead like a fucking dope and put out something that a lot of people had already expressed they didn't like. What I want is to somehow combine the live uncomfortable interactions of Chip in an animated world. I wanted to represent the character the way people see him. It's a harder process than I would have thought and I can't animate bits that were on the show. I don't own that audio, and I want to create something new anyway. I kept coming up with ideas that felt incomplete or simply wrong. I finally think I know what I'm going to do with it. Now I have to figure out exactly how to do it. It will be mostly unscripted. I'm sorry people feel frustrated by the delay, but the delay is simply a reflection of me rethinking and reconceptualizing the animation. I want to get it right. I've not given up on it or lost interest in any way. I certainly haven't spent one dollar of the money from the campaign. It will all be put into the project. So now, two years later, it seems he has rethought and reconceptualized the animation into, well, nothing. In fact, searching for it now, it seems almost every trace of it having ever existed has been wiped off the internet. It's like it got devoured by some kind of giant blinky turtle. Whether or not Norton ever delivered on the promised t-shirts and bumper stickers, I don't know. I can't speak to that. I didn't give him money. As for the five episodes of the Chip Chipperson show, only two episodes of the show were ever released. Technically one. The first one was a teaser created before the Indiegogo, and that one is completely gone. I can't find it. If you have it, please, please send it to me so I can once again laugh at what the idiot donor saw and decided, that looks like a good investment, derp. But the second one was produced with the money. And uh, I've got it. It stars Jim Norton and Amy Schumer. It's got guest stars, uh, Club Soda Kenny and Gilbert Godfrey. So uh, as we take a look, as you watch, just remember that this is the only actual product that came out of a campaign that raised $61,000. This is a $61,000 clip we're going to watch. I'm Chip Chipperson, in case you didn't know, this is my show, and it's fucking hilarious! <laughs> fucking hilarious! Cocksucker! Welcome to the Chip Chipperson Show! Get ready to laugh your balls off. <laughs> I gotta meet a chick. I'm so lonely I'm like the Maytag repairman or something. It says here that women like confident and funny men. That's perfect for me. I'm fucking hilarious. I'll make a laugh so hard a cooter falls off. I swear, like, there was at least four jokes there. None of them were funny, none of them landed, they didn't build the characters, they didn't build the story, but hey, it's, it's got a man doing a silly voice, and that's how animation works, right? I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, madam, but your husband didn't have insurance, and frankly, he's beginning to reek. So please remove him before I have to take him out back and burn him with the rest of the garbage. I can't have the rest of the customers here at... Ted's Funeral Home and Grief Emporium vomiting because your husband smells like a rotted gefilte fish. Move. Hey. Get out no. of the way. Watch it, you big bully. Move it. Ah. Fucking old people. Pardon me, madam. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause here. Watch the next scene carefully and consider that Amy Schumer, who had her own critically acclaimed show, Gilbert Gottfried, who has been in Disney films. He's like the king of comedy voiceover. And Jim Norton, who tells jokes on the radio for a living. These three people who are professionals at, at being funny, regardless what you think of them, these, these are people who professionally deliver comedy. That these three people couldn't make this scene funny regardless of how hard they tried. They couldn't. The writing is just too shit. Watch this. <laughs> Looking good, babe. 
I'm kneeling in front of a corpse. Are you fucking stupid? No way. You got a nice Rubenesque body like my mother. I bet he had a big fat prick on him. <laughs> hey babe, I'm Chip. This is my wingman, Kenny. Your name is Clit? No, my name's not Clit, but I lick him. <laughs> That was nice. What's your friend's name again? Was it Shitpile? No, I'm Kenny. Shitpile was my confirmation name. What the hell did you eat? It smells like a skunk crawled into your asshole and killed itself. You shouldn't smoke, you know. My mother said it's like kissing an ashtray. She sounds like an amazing woman. I wish you were here so I could give my condolences to her vagina. You're acting like a real sad sack. You sure there's nothing I can do to make you feel a little better? Oh, I'd love to use that to clean the wax out of my ears. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to pause on this image. I, I want you to look at it. I uh, want you to reflect on what you've seen so far, the journey that Jim Norton has taken us on so far. And uh, I want you to think about the fact that this cost $60,000. $60,000! Do you really want to turn me on? Fuck yeah! I want to make your cooter so wet you'd get electrocuted if I threw a toaster in it. If you shove that candelabra up your friend's ass, my cooter will drool like it's having a stroke. It's too big! It's gonna burst my hemorrhoids! In the name of the Senate and the people of Rome! Fuck yeah! Ugh. I'm so embarrassed for everybody involved with this. How, how did Amy not pull Jim aside and tell him that this is absolute dog shit? Where the fuck was Jenny Carm to tell Jim that... Uh, there, there, there is not a third world country in the world that is just discovering the idea of comedy where this would be considered funny. Who let Jim do this? Is your coda still sopping wet? No. It dried up when I got your friend's ass blood in my mouth. My you-know-what is still bursting with horniness. Why don't you grab a hold of that thing and show me what you can do? But they'll sting my P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> no, they won't. Just rub this all over it first. Ow! They're stinging my fucking P.E.K.K.A. Quick, use this! <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? <laughs> they got my P.E.K.K.A. hot, baby. Fuck yeah. By the way, how did your husband die? Oh, that guy? He wasn't my husband. He was just some ugly, stupid piece of shit who hit on me, so I killed him. Fuck yeah. Wait, <laughs> did Chip write the show? Is this some kind of 3D wheelchair chess boxing? Was the meta joke that this is so badly written that it's fucking Chip Chipperson who's the head writer? Think about it. The big payoff at the end of the episode, the, the twist ending, is that the woman that Chip is trying to fuck that tries to kill him is a woman that kills people who try to fuck her. Like, what kind of... What the fuck? My show and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> do, 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 do. This is sixty thousand dollars. So here's what I think happened. 
Jim Norton was sitting in his unrenovated apartment, edging to tea girls on a webcam, thinking about how much he misses his ex, and only if she had to work with him and be in his proximity and talk to him, she'd fall right back in love with him and maybe give him a pity fuck. He was unhappy with his job at XM at this point, the Opie and Jim Norton show was falling apart, and he wanted to do a quick cash grab, something easy he could do to solve all these problems. And an idea hit him that the idiot fans would pay money to see him do his retarded character. He was going to renovate his apartment. He was going to get the girl. He was going to explore a whole new creative side of himself. Uh, and the problem started when he didn't hit a third of his target. His target was $200,000. And uh, if you look down here on Indiegogo, 60% goes to voices, writing, and animation. He had probably already promised a certain amount of money to uh, Jenny Carm, to Gilbert Gottfried, to Amy Schumer. Like, Gilbert Gottfried is not going to do anything for free. Like, he, he's a psychopath with that shit. And then there's a much bigger problem that came up, and that other problem is that Jimmy is a terrible writer. He can't write a story to save his life. Look at the famous Uncle, uh, Uncle Mingle sketch from his Abortive Vice show. You have a setup, a silly situation. Look, it's a dating service for pedophiles. And then the cops come and bust it up. That's it. It's a premise he thinks is witty and a disconnected resolution. Uh, th there's no story. It's just stuff. It's, it's just stuff happening. And you can see this happening in the Chip Chipperson cartoon throughout. There aren't any setups and punchlines. I, I mean, there are, they're, but they're shitty. But for the most part, what you're seeing is just events. It's an event after an event after an event after an event. And there's no sense of drama. There's no sense of comedy. There's no coherence. It's events. Knowing he couldn't possibly save his worthless piece of shit flash cartoon, Jim decided to go another route. He decided if he did a visual podcast, he could convince longtime fans of the show to animate this goofy shit for free. And so, in an extremely roundabout way, he could deliver on his obligations. I genuinely believe that when Jim started the podcast, it wasn't because he wanted to do it. It was just so he could justify having raised $60,000 to give to Amy Schumer, the contractor who renovated his apartment, and his ex-girlfriend. That, that's all the GoFundMe really did. It, it raised money to give to Amy Schumer and, and a contractor and Jenny Carm. Finally, as for the people who donated, I have absolutely no sympathy for you. You, you, you know that there are artists out there who have a vision their whole lives. They work their fingers to the bone to come up with a beautiful and interesting idea, to, to come up with this material, and they live and breathe their creations, and all they need is a little financial help to get started. But you, you assholes, wanted to give your money to a whiny barnacle who thought he could magically turn into Seth MacFarlane overnight by doing his Jerky Boys impression. You heard him for years talk about how much he hates animation, how he doesn't understand it, how he's not interested in it. He was saying shit like this. Yeah, they lost to Big Hero 6 the first weekend. I forgot to talk about this. I loved Big Hero 6. What is that? We were going to go see it this weekend. What, I what is that? love Big Hero it's 6. It's the new Disney movie. Oh. It, it's an, I'm telling you, it's good, though. It's based oh. off of a Marvel. Mm. Oh, well, that's... Oh. I love it. <laughs> no. You don't watch that? No. No, me neither. No. Yes. No. No animated movies, no comic book movies Zero. anymore. Comic book movies can be okay. No animated movies. But I don't have kids, though. Why? So. I love animated oh, movies. terrible. Not, yeah, it doesn't mean that it's not terrible. Movie. They're terrible. They're terrible. They're just off. Name me one good one. That was Toy Story. Big Hero Hero 6. Whoa. Never saw either of them. Toy Story was really it's good. It's not because it's childish. It's I just hot. don't care about it. I say Incredibles. You went to the carnival. You got yourself a big, shiny red balloon. You got yourself a wad of cotton candy. And then you spent $60,000 throwing a ball through a hoop. And all you walked away with is a mustache comb. You're not responsible enough to have the money you have. That's why people take it away from you. Jim Norton took your money away from you. That's all I got. Fuck you.